Hello everyone, it's Ro here and welcome to this video. So this is a viewer requested tutorial. Um, in our last video, we did this one page wonder and there was this cute little mini album that I included. And so there was a request to, you know, on how to make this. So I said, well, why not have some fun with some other little small items? And so I picked three other cute little projects that we can do as well so that, you know, we can just make the most of this video. And I gather, you know, there's others out there like me. I really like putting together these small projects to add into mini albums and junk journals to load in pockets for Happy Mail, stuff like that. So you can use these for any of those. And yeah, I just thought it would be fun to add a couple cute more little pieces in there as well. So we'll go ahead and start with the one that was requested. So if you remember, if you watched that video, it opens like this and it's just a cute little fun little mini album that you can put in practically, you know, anything, your junk journals. I love putting in mini albums as well and uh, you know loading them in pockets and stuff like that so I'm always trying to find more cute little itty bitties to put in stuff so now that I know that there's an interest I'll do more tutorials you know with cute little things that we can put in all of our stuff so this is the one that I kind of revamped that is like this one and it's just slightly different um, so I'll show you both ways just a small variation there but, oh my gosh, look how cute these ones are, guys. These are little, I used my little um, scallop punch and to make these cute little pockets. And I'll show you how to do that as well, just in case. But each one has a little ticket in it. I just thought that was so cute. I love little miniature things, so this was just so funny. Um, so it just has a little booklet and a little tick ticket in each one of them. And I just thought it was so adorable. So I'll show you, it's so easy to make those. And then in here, I have a belly band. I'll show you to make that with the little uh, ticket. And then the way that it differs from uh, this one is that I just added two pockets. So there's a side pocket here. Let's see if I could pull this out. And I just put a little, like a file uh, card in there. And then there's a pocket here that I put a cute little slim tag. So that's the only difference from the original. So I'll show you both ways. The reason why I kind of revamped it a little bit and put these two is because I used single-sided paper for this one. So this was a way to cover up the paper while adding more features. And then in the back here, we just have this cute little pocket back here that I put a couple little pieces in. So fun to play with these little itty bitties. So, and then, you know, I just used this silver, um, bungee cord just to poke a hole there and wrap it around. So that's our first little project that we'll start out with. And then I'll show you how to make this cute little mini notepad because you can also put it in like your albums and anywhere. So like if I would have had this one done that day, I probably would have put it like in that pocket or something. So it fits in pretty much anything that you make because it's small enough. And it's just so adorable. You hang a little piece of ephemera, whatever you want, if you want, right there. And then we also have a little pocket in the back. And it has a cute little tag and just a little uh, journaling card. So I thought that was fun um, way to make the little mini pad. And then here we have a cute little interactive pocket. So it opens like this. And then it comes down and it comes out like this. And so right here I just used a little piece of vellum to make a little side pocket there. And then here, just put a couple, well, a piece of ephemera and then a sentiment that says, use your wings. And then over here, we just did a little tuck spot. It has a cute little piece of ephemera there. So just an adorable way to have some more little fun stuff to put into our little um, albums and stuff. And then here in the back pocket, I just put a little journaling card and another little tag. So we have a pocket in the back that I put couple little sequins there. So that's that one. And then I said, you know what, just in case someone wants to know how to make these uh, file folders, because I put them in a lot of my albums, I said, let me just go ahead and show you how to make those as well real quick. So this one, I just put a cute little card inside of it. Yeah, and that's it. So let's go ahead and make these little cuties. So we'll go ahead and grab our scoreboard and our first sheet of paper. So let's see, our first one is the small little mini album. So we're going to need a sheet that measures seven by three and seven eighths. So I'm gonna grab mine. I'm just gonna use the same paper pad as I did for that one page project. So this is pocket full of flowers. And I think for this one, I used um, 
round trip. It was a six by eight pad called Round Trip, just in case anyone was interested. And the ephemera is also from Round Trip uh, by Maggie Holmes. All right, so this is gonna be seven by three and seven eighths. Let me make sure you could see this. So now we're at our three and seven eighth, which is the mark in between three and three quarters and four. Okay, then we are going to, let's see, turn it um, on the seven inch side and we're gonna score at three and five. Three and five. And this is just so easy, you guys. Um, so this one, we are going to fold like this on this score line. And then we fold this score line over like this and it turns out like this. And then it's pretty much done. So now we'll just add that sheet that goes inside there. So for that one, it is four by three and seven eighths. And let me see, I think I used two sheets. Did I? No, I just used one sheet. Okay, so we just need a little bitty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one. So um, four by three and seven eighths. So we're gonna go cut it down four three and seven eighths. And then we're just gonna go ahead and fold it in half. I'm gonna actually do this side so it looks a little different inside the album. But when I did the second one, when I did this one, I used single-sided paper. So this project, you definitely can. And then this goes in here. So all we do is tuck it into this one. And then if you want to, this is the first one, right? This is the original one that was requested that I make. But, um, so you're pretty much good to go if you wanna do it like the first one. But if you wanna do the revamped version um, where we added the little side pocket in this pocket, then all we do is just add another sheet that is the exact same measurements as this one. So let me see if I have another sheet nearby because that one is four by three and seven eighths. Let me see if I can make it with this one, four, uh, no, I can't. So let me just grab another sheet so we can do the second version in case you want. So let's see, I'm gonna go four and three and seven eighths. I'm gonna fold it in half just like I did the other. And this will just give us those two little fun pockets if you want them. So now we're just gonna add this in here. And I think I wanna put the butterflies on the outside, so I'm just going to change the way that I folded it. All right, so all we need to do is tuck this into this score line here, and then we just get our stapler, and we are going to staple, so let me grab that. And we want the, uh, the front of our staple to be on our spine here, so just keep that in mind. Let me see, how did I do this? I think I went this way. And you could also, you know, if your stapler doesn't go that far out, you could use like a pokey tool if you want and just poke one little hole, wrap some ribbon around it, uh, really however you want to do. It's pretty versatile in that way. So let me go ahead and just make sure that it's centered there. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this outside of our staple right here to where this will be the front. And then we're just gonna go ahead, see I'm stapling right here in the middle, right on the score line. There we go, just like that. And now we are pretty much done. And then we'll just give it a little bit of burnishing to make sure that it's happy and folding the way that we want. And now we can keep it and just have extra pages if we want, or we can do those two little pockets. So this one, I think I made, um, it's a little side pocket. So we could go ahead and do our little notch if we wanna do it that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, and so it's kind of like that and we'll be able to pull out that way. So then if we're doing the side pocket here, we're just gonna put some glue right here on top and right here on the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that. And actually I need to cut mine off. I have a slight bit of overage. So let me just cut that off really quick before I start gluing. I just noticed that, so. All right, now I'm ready back to the gluing stage. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna throw some glue on here, right towards the closest possible to the edge, just a little bead 
which I'm not doing. I'm putting a blob in not as close as it should be. <laughs> All right, and so we're just gonna go ahead and let that glue down. Now we have our cute little uh, side pocket that we could put a little file card here. And this, the way I did this was I just used my heart punch right here and this little pink piece right here that I have the sentiment on top of, this was a uh, part of the ephemera from the round trip. So I didn't make this part. Otherwise I would probably show you how to make this card, but um, but you could use anything right here. You can put like a little heart punch, scallop punch. You can put a little piece of ephemera right here on the corner would be cute and use any small punch that you have right here and make a cute little card if you wanted to do something similar. All right, so now we have this side pocket and then now we're gonna make a top pocket up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my notch, a little baby notch right here at the top if you want to. So I'm just gonna make a little baby one just like that. And then for this one, I do have a slight bit of overage. So let me just cut that off, although it still looks cute with it, but might as well just cut it off just in case you have that too and want to as well. And then we are going to, going to go ahead and we're going to glue this on the side and down here so that we can pull out from the top. So let's go ahead and do that. You guys always give me good luck because my glue dries up on me on a regular basis. And for some reason when I'm filming, it comes out. So thank you guys for being my good luck charms. <laughs> All right, and so here we go. We're gonna glue this up. And now we have that cute little uh, pocket up top here that we can put a little kind of like a slimline tag or a little, you know, you could also do something. Let me give you the measurements of this just so it's easier to show you. I didn't make this tag. It came in that round trip ephemera that I've just been having a blast with, but just in case, if you wanted an idea, this is one and a half by about three inches. So you could take, let's say like a three inch, um, say you want to do something different. It wasn't a tag. You could do like, well, this is about three inches, so I'll leave it, but you can do a cute little, you know, folder like this, you know, or something like that and maybe put some little notches in right here. You know, something cute like that, and you can put that in this pocket as well. Or, you know, similar to mine, you could, you know, make a cute little bitty tag there as well, so. And that is pretty much it. So now all we need to do is close it up like this. Let me burnish mine again, because I don't think I did so well with that. And so as you can see, if this was single-sided paper, we would be fine here. This part, before putting these pink um, butterfly uh, paper on top of it, this would have been blank underneath. So that's why on the second one, um, I put the butterfly on top and made those two pockets. So this is fine for a single-sided paper, and you would just do idea number two, I guess you could say. And the back would be white, and that really didn't bother me at all um, with that one. I think the first one was single-sided that I made just so that you have all the options. Now, actually both of them were double, but for some reason when I used this uh, new paper pad for this one, it was single. So see how the back is white and that didn't bug me so much, but I definitely didn't want my pages to be white in this specifically. I wanted it more for cute and fun. So um, I added that so you could see under the notch it's white. So that's why I added the same measurements um, a sheet with the same measurements right on top. So I hope that makes sense, but at least you have two little versions that you can make um, if you want to. Now, let me show you really quick, just in case you wanna make these cute little pockets. I thought they were adorable. Um, I, I believe you can use a circle punch. I used my scallop punch. I was just playing around with it and it just, I was like, oh, how cute these little pockets. Um, so I'm going to use my scallop punch, but you can probably use your circle punch. This is one and a half. I haven't tried it with the circle yet, but um, let me see if I could find my scallop. If not, I'll have to do the circle one with you if I don't have it nearby. So I don't want to keep you guys waiting or anything. Um, okay, I think my scallop is MIA right now, so I'll just show you with the circle after all. So you want to make those cute little pockets and imagine if it's a bigger circle then that would be like a larger size pocket and that would be adorable I don't have one that's bigger than this size but it's really easy all I did was I just took it and I folded it in slightly on this side I didn't measure anything I was just playing around and then it just happened to look cute and I was like oh how cool okay so you just fold it in slightly on this side maybe about a quarter inch I would say 
slightly on this side as well. Okay, so you try to have them, you know, as even as possible. So that's what it looks like so far. And then all we do is just fold this bottom up as far as you want it to go. So basically, however deep you want your little pocket. And look, that's it. It's finished. It is so adorable. At least for this little mini album, right? Because I needed little mini pieces. And that's it. And then all we need to do is put a little bit of glue right here, a little bit of glue right there on the other side, and just hold it down pretty firm. Right? And now we have this cute little itty bitty thing that you can use for like miniature stuff. And this I just cut down cute little card that measures about 3 4 inches by 3 4 inches. I just folded it in half, used my little scallop punch, and it fit right inside here like that. And I wanted something, you know, sometimes you're just inspired by your ephemera pieces or paper pad or whatever, and that was kind of like where it came. I was like, oh, what could I make to fit these little... Okay, sorry guys, I'm going on a bitch, but this little ticket is so cute. Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. So then that's it. I made two of those. Stuck each one there. Let me give you the measurement as well if you want to do a belly band for right here. So let me give you that. Um, the belly band strip is three and seven eighths. So let's see. You can see this, okay. Three and seven eighths by uh, three fourths of an inch. So right there. And now we have our little belly band that would fit right here or like that or this side or whatever you want. And then you can, you know, decorate it if you even want to put a belly band there at all. But that was the measurements for that, just in case you needed it. And then for our little ribbon, if you want to do the same type of closure, all I did was uh, eyeball it right here in the middle with my little hole punch. That's it. And then I just took some ribbon and stuck it in there and wrapped it around for the first one. The second one, I don't even think I put a hole at all. I just wrapped it with that silver bungee stuff. Where did I put this little thing? Yeah, I don't even think I did a hole with that one. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, I actually did do a hole and, and wrapped it with the bungee. Sorry. So yeah, both of them have the hole right here and then um, wrapped around. like this and then I just kind of did like this now to put this one in like an album unless it's like a thicker album than this one pager that we did um, I would use thinner ribbon like this one this ribbon because this bungee is a little bit more thick for my taste but I got it at a garage so so it's not like I had the option to get <laughs> like a thinner one um, but this one is just Close like that and it looks so cutey. So that's project number one. Now let's move to our next project so I don't keep you guys here forever and a Christmas. All right, so now let's do this cute little interactive pocket. I just love this. I thought it was so fun because um, I just love interactive stuff. So for this one, we are going to need a little six by eight sheet. So we're making this one. So let's grab that. Now this project, I have to say, is going to be much easier if it's a uh, double-sided paper. So you probably want to find one of your scraps that's double-sided or something like that. I mean, of course you could make anything single-sided, right? And cover the white space, but I found that much easier with uh, double-sided on this one. So let's go ahead and cut this one six by eight. So this is already six, so I'm just gonna go down to eight here. Okay. And then we'll do a little bit of um, scoring. So this one, we are going to score at six um, and eight on the eight inch side. So six, wait, hold on. Something fills off. Take that back. It's not six and eight. It's uh, three. I can't read my own writing, guys. It's three and six and one eighth. So the one mark is right in between the six and the six and a quarter mark. You have the little one there, that's the six and one eighth. Okay, then we are going to turn it and we're just gonna score it right down the middle at three inches. So again, because I know I kind of confused it, our sheet is six by eight is the sheet we're working with. Our score is three and six and one eighth on the eight inch side. 
Then we turn it over right here and we score at three. So I hope uh, I didn't confuse you too much there. All right, so here we're just going to cut out this little panel right here, the smaller panel. We're cutting that one completely out. So hopefully you can see my score lines okay. So it looks like this. Remember we have our two smaller panels up at top. We're getting rid of that corner. And then all we're gonna do is just turn it like this. And we are going to cut from here all the way to the score line where all of them intersect. And we're not gonna go past it. We're just gonna cut up to it and that's it. So we'll go ahead and do that. Guys, my handwriting is like a doctor's prescription pad. I can barely read my own writing. It's a shame. <laughs> so <laughs> if you ever see me struggling in my videos, I'm like, what in the world did I write? All right, so this, you you know, choose which side that you want. Let me see, I think. Well, at this point, I've already cut it this way, so I'm gonna keep it like this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fold this one to the back, right on the score line. Okay, and so this is going to make our bad back pocket and I have some overage so I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off because I did a really bad job at cutting on my score lines because this is the first one that I have any overage so I know it's from bad cutting. <laughs> All right so that one goes to the back and then this one comes to the front so we're just going to fold it right over on that score line and burnish. Here's my little guy. Okay. And so here, you know, I love to give you all the different options. If you wanted to, maybe you don't want all the interaction here. So what you can do is cut it like about halfway. Cut here and go across there. And you can make you a little pocket right here so it'll be like this size. And then you would just have, you know, one sheet to decorate however you want in one pocket. But I really think it's fun having the interactive flap here. So then we're just gonna fold it, fold it up like this up to that score line or, well, the focus really is on this score line right here. So that's really where we wanna fold, okay? And then we're just gonna fold this one down like this. And we're gonna round our corners if you want to. And look how cute we have our cute little uh, pocket here that we can decorate and embellish however we want. And then back here, we're just gonna put some glue um, and you could also keep this a flap too, if you want it to. Um, but we're gonna glue it if we want our pocket, we're gonna glue right here and right here. And let's put our little notch first. So I'm gonna do that. And we will go ahead and glue it. Let's see. All right, I'm still getting glue. One little bead as close to the edge as possible without going over so that we have some room in our pocket. And there we go, guys. We have our cute little pocket back here. And then we have our little interactive element in the front. So just a fun little item that you can put wherever you wanna put it. I love these little things. So now that I know you guys kind of have an interest for them as well, I'll make more videos. I love making these little things. All right, so now let's go ahead and make this cute little notepad. It is so freaking easy, guys. Like, wait till you see how easy it is. I actually made one of these in another video. I think it was one where I did envelope folio fold out or something like that. I know I've made one, it was just, it was bigger. So, and it didn't have the little pocket in the back. So, um, so for the little mini notepad, we are going to need a sheet that is six by three. So I'm just going to grab my little butterflies again. We're gonna cut it to six by three. And then we're gonna score at two and one fourth on the six inch side. So two and a quarter right there. And then it's just so easy. We're just gonna fold that back and that gives us our little pocket back here. So then we can just do, I'm actually, I already did stuff with the butterflies. So I'm gonna go this way. Just gonna switch it up a little bit. All right, so we'll do our little notch here. And we will do a little bit of gluing here. So we're just gonna glue on each side. Remember, we're not gonna go in the middle or on top because we wanna have space in our pocket. Okay. 
All right, and we'll glue that down and do some burnishing here. Okay, and now we have our back pocket done. And so all we need to do is grab our little uh, blank sheets of like copier paper, really whatever paper that you wanna use. So the little sheets, I have mine pre-cut to save us time here, but our little sheets are two and three fourths by three and a half, okay? Um, and so let me just, I'll cut one down with you really quick. So two and three fourths, oh, this is from a notepad, but I used copier paper on the other ones. So two and three fourths, and I think I only have like four sheets. So you could use as many sheets as you want. So it's two and three fourths by three and a half. Okay, and then what you wanna do is take one of the sheets, don't practice you know, on your backing, right? So just take one of the white ones to practice with, whether you wanna measure or however you wanna do it. I never do, I always, you know, eyeball myself. So um, I just do two holes, really wherever you want them to go. I kind of go like that, come over, just eyeball it. And if I don't like this one, I just grab another sheet. So, um, and that one looks fine to me. So once you have it the way you want with your template, then you grab all your other sheets. Let's pretend mine don't have the holes already. And we're gonna go like this and just make sure they're all lined up and exactly the same here. And then we can put them on our little backing and just center it wherever we want it. And if you want to show off more of your backing, you can just start trimming around if you want to. So I'll leave that up to you. And then once we have it where we want, we have our template here. So we'll just use that to go ahead and punch the rest of our holes. So I have holes in them again, but I'm just gonna do it with you. And then we'll punch this side. Okay, and now we have our cute little notepad. And these ones, I probably, because I can't see the bottom and I'd like to, I'm going to just trim off a little bit here at the bottom. That's just, you know, me wanting to see the end, which I did on the other one. So I might have pre cut these a little bit too long. I can't remember, but nevertheless. Here we go. See, now I can see like the bottom a little bit better. So you can do that. And then we just grab us some ribbon. Mine fell on the floor, so let me grab that. <laughs> Whatever ribbon that you wanna use, this is, I believe, um, uh, yarn string or something like that. I can't remember, I got it a while ago. I'm actually almost out of it. All right, and so then what we can do, now if you wanna put a cute little piece of ephemera or maybe use your hole punch to you know, put something there. Let's see, I think I have a little heart I punched, so I'll just use that to show you guys. And so I just put a little hole in it. So just a little hole. And then we'll just put this one, string it right on through. Well, let me, I'll just show you without the paper, just so that I'm not here till tomorrow <laughs> trying to show you guys. And then we'll, Put that through there. And we're just gonna pretend my paper's there. <laughs> and then I'll string this one down on the other side. There we go. And then, you know, you can string a couple more times around if you wanted to, and then tie your bow however you like it. And then just gonna tie it up here. And this might be a cute little card right, with a pocket in the back, do some like um, collaging on here or something like that on the front, and we still have our little back pocket, you know, just fun making these little things. But that's pretty much all that I did to make this little notepad. So last but not least, let's go ahead and make this little file folder, just in case anyone ever wants to make them, because I put them in a lot of videos, and I know people were asking about these. So because once you know how to do it, I mean, it, you could use any measurement any measurement, literally, and it comes out cute. So it's just really easy. So we'll just go ahead and do like a seven by five and a half. Well, I'll do a six by four and a half, just for this. Really doesn't matter the size. Well, you guys are probably gonna want the size of this one since I show in the video, so let me stick to that. Let me grab another sheet that's a little bit longer. Uh, let me see if one of these sheets work out. One of these should be big enough, so. All right, so we are going to go actually five by four. 
that's the size that I did for this one. It's five by four sheets. So we'll go ahead and do that. So five. Move that out the way. We'll go down to four. Ooh, my desk is a mess. <laughs> by four. Okay, and then we're gonna score at two and a half on the five inch side. And here it's really, this score is really just however long that you want your um, pocket. Um, so it's just totally up to you. And actually two and a half seems rather large. I didn't do my pocket that big. So let me see what I did here. Um, it looks like it's about one inch. Yeah, I didn't go two and a half. I must have wrote down the wrong measurement, so I'm sorry about that. But the process is still the same. So we'll do like a one inch score line. Okay, like that. And that is going to be our um, little pocket inside. And then all we do is just fold it completely over like this. So just fold it in half and we will burnish. Sorry, now I don't know exactly what the measurements are for that one because I wrote them down wrong. And I must have accidentally cut that at some point making something. So never mind that little cut there. <laughs> now I always like to angle cut here. And then we're gonna pull this down, okay, this piece. So make sure you pull it down before you cut. And then all we do right here is we're just gonna cut like a little half triangle on this side of the score line and then another little half triangle on the other side of the score line. So let me show you. We're just cutting on each side of the score line. You just eyeball it. There's no, you know, right or wrong way. It doesn't really matter. It will come out cute no matter what you do. And then that's it. And then we have our little file folder, which I actually like it when it's longer at top. So I really think that this is cuter than the one that I made. Um, and then all we need to do is just go ahead and put some glue right here and put some glue right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm actually going to cut this off and not glue. I'm gonna do this over real quick because with this right here, I won't be able to use it. So I'm just gonna make a little bit of a smaller uh, file folder here, just so I could use it at some point. I'm gonna do a 3 4th inch. It really doesn't matter. You can, you know, score it wherever you want because that will determine how deep your pocket is. And then we'll do this part again. We're just going to cut on each side of that score line, a little triangle shape. Boom. And then there we go. And this is looking a little bit, it's a little smaller than the one I did, but I think you get the picture now. You can really do these however um, small or big that you want them. I don't know what I was writing down. And this isn't even a case where I can't read my writing. It's clear <laughs> that I just wrote it completely wrong. So I am so sorry about that. All right. So there we go. And now we can just put whatever little fun stuff inside of each one. And we have our mini little file folder. And then for mine, I just put a cute little embellishment on the front that I used like a square foam dot to raise it and give it a little bit of dimension. And then inside, I just put this cute little card it's probably too big for this one, but um, so I'd probably put like little, um, use my punches to make little things or something like that. And you can also nest it, do like little mini ones inside there. Um, these cute little um, pockets that we made earlier, like that would probably be cute in there. So many things you can do with these little itty bitties. Oh, I just love these. They're so cute. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. So um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial with our cute little baby projects that we have that, you know, I'm always looking for more of these little things too to, you know, put in my albums and stuff. I love um, using things like this to put inside of my junk journals and my albums and you can load pockets with these guys. So just really fun. So thank you for joining me today and I will check you guys out inside of our next video. So bye for now and happy crafting.